Well, hello, and welcome back to another live broadcast involving your main man, Dr. Jellyfinger Zero. Here I am playing Resident Evil, the HD remaster, I think is the official title. What's the official title here? Just, you know what? Resident Evil. Forget it. Playing some Resident Evil 1. And uh, on the PlayStation 4 Entertainment Console. I am a super huge Resident Evil fan. This was the first PlayStation title I ever owned in my entire life on the PlayStation 1. So, uh, yeah, it's a big, big title for me. Now, let's see what else do we got going on here. I'm trying to look through. I got two death masks. That's crazy. I don't know what those are for yet, just because the HD remaster is kind of different than the version I'm used to playing. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, let's take the sheet music and let's go to the dining room. And we're going to play Moonlight Sonata real quick and open up a secret door. So, let's go ahead and get that done. Now the fastest way to the dining room is not through this way, but up here. There's also a couple of other new additions to this game that are just insane. Like, um, you have to light your enemies on fire, which is uh, really, like, once you kill them, like, you have to light their bodies on fire, which I always thought was, like, the coolest thing ever. Uh, I really, like, that's just wicked cool. Uh, because, like, otherwise they'll come back as, like, this super thing. And like it's like red and monstrous and just scary as hell. Like, fucking controls. Um, that's one thing that's still here is like the kind of wonky controls with bad camera angles, but it's part of it. One of the main things that are still like you know a part of a game that you just can't get rid of, which is fine with me. It's still Resident Evil, so. And I always thought that was really cool to that um, know, things are just pretty much the same but different. And part of this puzzle is collecting that. And I think. I do have too many items on me, so I'm going to use my first aid spray. There we go. And then we're going to go this way towards the, um, the bar. It's not that door. That door doesn't open yet. I believe it is this door. And then, uh, yep, we're in the right room. Okay, so that's one of the things that's like really funny is like I just I've played this game so much that I just <laughs> I know where things are. I think can I shove it this way? Yes, ma'am. My name is Lois Kingdom. I'm the home health care. Nothing I need there. So, played that, and then uh, she's the only character that can outright play that. Um, if you're playing as Chris, you have to, um, you actually have to uh, get Rebecca Chambers, I think is her name, and then um, she'll actually play it for you. This is Trevor's Diary, we're going to go through it just real quick. Basically it's this guy that like, he got it in over his head here, 
and um, he knows some of the, all the secrets and puzzles of this place and um, it just kind of freaks him out and like they're keeping him here hostage and like they may have already killed his family and stuff like that it's just freaking him out just just a just the ambiance kind of thing but I'm kind of skipping through that and then um, when you pick up the uh, the golden emblem um, you need to make sure that you have the wooden emblem with you from the dining room itself. Uh, unless you're playing like a remix remixed version, like there's a, there's another difficulty that like remixes everything. Um, you have to find it somewhere else. But choosing the dining room over the mantle place where you saw the blood in the beginning of the game um, with Barry, where he's like, I hope this isn't Chris's blood and stuff like that. So you put the wooden one there, and then it will open up for you and then you keep the gold one which you put in place where the wooden one was fun fun uh... no i don't want ink ribbon right now what i want is some ammunition but uh... because this is going to eventually take me to fighting the snake boss who is quite a hoot and quite a bastard and all I have is like 36 rounds of handgun ammo, 35 rounds. So, that's not enough. <laughs> and then, uh, I went to the place where the bazooka usually is, and it was not there. And that was kind of unfair. So, an indentation where the emblem used to be. So then you put the gold emblem in its place, and it should activate the clock and let it move. Or in this version, it opens. Okay. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. It looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock. Try it? Yeah, let's see what's up. When the two have run each other through, I'm guessing the two hands going through each other so let's, let's try this small let's turn okay so that moves the big hand you know keep turning it do it small again huh well they're running each other through don't you think um, okay, maybe, let's try this, we'll move the small hand all the way down to six, oh crap, dang it, <laughs> I need to stop mashing the X button. I'm just trying to get the text to move by faster. Uh, okay, let's keep moving this one because we screwed up a lot there. Okay, now it's a small gear. Small. Let's just turn it. Small left. There we go. I think that should solve the issue. That looks like they're really definitely like running each other through. So, yeah. Okay, cool. <coughs> and now the clock moves. Okay. Yes, I will take the mansion key. Okay. So now I need to get up to the snake room. Uh, okay, one second, my wife is texting me. I need to make sure. Sorry about this. <laughs> I hate breaking it up like that and end up uh, doing that. Let's see what she has to say here. Uh, 
Oh my goodness. Okay. So here's a quick little rant for you guys. Like, um, my wife has a crappy. Uh, well, I guess it's not crappy. It's a Toshiba satellite laptop. It is actually really freaking nice. But she is, I wouldn't say digitally illiterate, but kind of, yeah, she pretty much is. And so what, um, it's just full of viruses and really bogged down and it requires a lot of cleaning and stuff, but also the cord that she had is not working to charge the device. So um, I, we can buy a new cord or um, she loves my MacBook Pro and so she wants a Mac. And so I f found a MacBook Pro that's decent condition and <laughs> I'm like okay like let's let's get it it's 800 bucks we got the extra cash right now let's do it and uh, she just like well that's a lot of money and I don't want to do that and it's just like no come on like it's okay like just let's just go ahead and do it you need it I understand like you want it Okay, you know, I'm I'm down. I'm 100% on board with her getting this new Mac, and she just she doesn't like to do things for herself, which I understand. I really do. She is like one of the most selfless people I know. Like she's always let me get stuff that I want. Always let me do stuff that I want. You know, she she really is on board with like my selfish train. But at the same time, like I just I want her to do things for herself. Oh, I'll take the shotgun shells. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That really helps a lot. But, um, you know, it's just, she just, oh, there's a dead zombie. And I'm going to need to light that dude on fire sometime. But I can't right now. Because I don't have my lighter on me. And I don't have uh, the canteen. But anyway, uh, yeah, and so I'm just trying to convince her to buy this MacBook Pro and I mean it'll be everything that she wants it to be she you know uh, I'll, I'll be able to help her out a lot with it and things I just I don't know she just doesn't want to get it and like so she, I found one for 800 bucks like factory refurbished comes with a one year warranty through Groupon and it's only got three days left on it to pull the trigger and she's just like no that's okay and like, it's like no like come on please just can we please just do this, you know? And uh, I'm gonna have to twist her arm about it. I think I'm gonna get it for her. But I don't know. Okay. So I keep on pressing start. I apologize. I'm so used to games nowadays that press start to open up their menus. And uh, Resident Evil still has that old. Um, you press triangle to open the menu. So. Okay. Whew. Here we go. Boss fight. Oh shit. Wow, that was a lot different <laughs> than I remember when I was a kid. Wow, okay, shit. Um, oh no, it's gonna bite me. Pull out the shotgun, ho. I just loaded it. Oh my goodness. Oh, dude! Oh no. Hang on, before he kills me. Oh. Okay, caution, poisoned. Okay. Dude, that boss fight was super mondo easy. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank God. Wow. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> oh no, that guy just made this boss fight easy is now dead. Oh man, poor Richard. Oh no, wait, boss fight's not over now. Now it's even more pissed. What is this? Assault shotgun? Yeah, I'll take that. Are you kidding me? Cool, there's different, like, wow. Oh, cool. Wow, I survived that boss fight. It was a lot easier than I remember. Oh, wicked cool. Okay, let's go over here. Oh no, I can't carry any more items. No way. Okay, um, let's use that. I wish I could just discard that shotgun now. Um, death mask. Okay, so I have three death masks now in my possession. 
Okay. Wow, that was completely different. Like, in the original version, if you never played it or never saw it, um, you walk in, it comes out of this, like, hole in the back of the room, kind of slow, creepy, B-movie stuff, and then it, like, hits at you, and, like, spits, and, like, comes around you, and you have to shoot it, and it takes a lot. And then you kill it, and then um, its body just lies in the middle of the room, and you go back to the hole, and you pick up an emblem, um, or a piece of an emblem. Uh, and then... Um, this one, like, that guy just, like, shows up like a richer dude. I'm so glad I saved him, like, that was fantastic. It's a shame he's dead now, but I really don't care. Oh, am I poisoned? I need yes. serum. You were poisoned. Oh. You just got, you got bit by a gigantic snake and don't have any marks, but you still got hurt. Oh, so you actually have a race to the serum now. So, first floor, past the dining room, into that hallway. Uh, actually, it looks like the only way you can get to it is from upstairs. So, I can't remember <coughs> quite how. So, upstairs... Uh, opposite of the dining hall. Okay, we got this. Okay. We got this. We're going to make this race. Hello, follower. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. I'm going to kind of just run and gun to get to the serum. I just fought the, the boss, the snake. I'm not sure if you were uh, here for that, but that was pretty epic. A lot more epic than I remember it being. So, uh, that was pretty cool. Um, let's see, let's get to this serum as fast as possible here. Uh, let's see. Because the dining room is over this way. No? Okay, crap. Um... Nope. Nope. There a map. Okay. I need to get back to the wait, damn it. I need to get back to that door. Oh wait, that was showing me where I am. Shit. First floor. Okay, so I need to go over to the dining room side of things. Okay, okay. I know I got it. Okay. Hopefully I don't run into too many baddies along the way. I'm sure I will. But this is so much different from the original Resident Evil that I am learning as I'm going. Like, I remember some of the puzzles and where things are. But there are so many things that are slightly different. I need to refer to the map again. I apologize for that. Yeah, second door. Okay. Like, the snake boss fight, if you did miss it, like was epic like the snake like drops out of nowhere and like he wants to get it yeah okay now I know exactly where I am okay oh hey buddy get close yeah little tip from me to you shotgun you let him get close aim up with it headshot there we go let's load that beast up I have no clue what's gonna be down here but this is the serum room. It's also a save spot. In the original, after the boss fight, she passes out. And then... Oh, I can't carry any more items. <laughs> uh, annoying. And then when she passes out, she wakes up in this room. Somebody rescued her. It was... I'm pretty sure it was Barry. But, um... Yeah. Let's put this death mask in here. I can't believe I have three of these things to carry now. And then... Let's put the extra shotgun shells in here for now. Serum. Let's see. Use this. I am perfectly fine now. Bada bing. All right. And then let's whip out that ink ribbon again. I should have grabbed the ink ribbon from the other room. Cause I can only save one more time now. Yes, yeah, so I'll use an ink ribbon. 
but like the snake dropped in and like there's this character that you can choose whether or not you want to save um, depending on how fast you get to CRM and back um, which it's weird that it did it to you twice um, <coughs> but uh, you get to serum and then um, you go back to him and then he gives you a radio and then normally he just kind of dies later but I mean it's kind of cool that he didn't so let's take these death masks out and go do something with them let's see what see what that something is Go ahead and step out of here. What? Okay, one minute, I apologize. Actually, it looks like I'm going to have to end the broadcast.